Welcome Camera Club members. Perry here. You're going to have to bear with me. This is the first tutorial I've done using this kind of technology. So um, let's get started. First thing we want to do, like I said in the newsletter, is to create a action set. Now I'm going to call this My Actions. And after we have our action set, we need that's the folder in which we put it. We would need to create the actual action. And this action is resize. Now essentially what I'm going to do is make an action to resize things, put a black border around it for the EID. These are all vertical images and I think a black border around it looks nicely. Notice in the action dialog here it's going into my actions. I'm not assigning a function key or color. Push the record button and I am making an action. Now what I should do, which everybody probably should do, is some kind of a levels adjustment. And I'm going to do an auto levels just to let it take care of whatever needs to be taken care of. Just bring a little bit of pop. Next thing I want to do now is I'm going to actually do the resize. Now because it's for the EID, I'm only going to worry about the pixels and I'm in the and I'm only going to worry about pixels in the height. And I'm going to make those 740 pixels tall. It's not now the EID says the height should be 768. I want 740 so that I have a little black border all the way around my image top and bottom as well. I will fix the height later on. So I'm going to click OK. Now my image is much smaller. I'm going to go back to image and select canvas size. Now here is where I'm going to actually fix it by selecting pixels off the list and I'm going to type in the actual EID size which is 1024 by 768. I want to leave it so that it comes out centered like that. If I wanted it to be offset to one side I could pick one of those buttons and canvas extension color. Now I could say foreground or background but you can see over here I got yellow and white going on for something else. Don't want to do that. I want black. Click OK. Now my image is properly resized for the EID. I'm done with my action. So I push the stop button over here. Stop playing recording. And the last thing I need to do with this image is to save it. So I'm going to go File and Save As. And I go Save As because I do not want to overwrite my original file. I need to put it in a special location. And in my computer it's under Data and Picks and Club and To Use One Day. Now because it's EID I'm going to use the proper naming convention which is my name. And then underscore VVCC underscore let's see underscore that was um, I'll call it lost picnic and save it T for traditional now we always have to watch our file size for the EID club notice that it's uh, 418 I need to take that down to less than 3 350 so I'll turn that take it to a 9 brings it to 340 3, that's just perfect. Click OK. Now it's resized. I can close that image. Now I want to do the same thing to this vertical image, so I'm click on resize in my actions. Push the play button. It's done already. It's done much faster, much easier to do. Now I should save it. I'm not going to. I'm just going to throw it away. And you can see here I have five other images that I want to also change size for the EID, but I don't want to go through and push the resize button. What I want to do is I want to automate the process. I want to run a batch process. I want to do my actions resize on the open files. If you had a folder full of files you wanted to work with, you could do that instead. But all my files are open, that's all I need to do. And I don't want to save them, because saving them would overwrite my original file, and I don't want a really small file. I want something I can work with later. So I'm going to say my destination is none. After that, click OK. Count to 10. All done. Didn't even have to count 10. Didn't have time to count to 10. There's all my images all resized, all with a black background, top, bottom, left, right, all ready to be sent out to Steve for our EID club competition. That concludes my action. Now, I think here at the end of this, the uh, clicks are a little bit out of sync with the audio. I'm going to have to find some better software.
Thank you, though. Enjoy. I hope you learned something.